Hey, it's Sharon, your guitar guide, helping you find your sound. Today, we're going to learn how to use a capo. Just squeeze it and clamp it on. That's it. Thanks for joining me. Nah, just kidding. Okay, we're going to learn how to use a capo coming up. Alright, I'm glad you're here. We're going to learn how to use this capo and to start out you need to know all the notes on the fretboard and I've got an 11 step guide on how to learn the notes on the fretboard over at yourguitarguide.com so check it out. We'll go, I'll show you the 6th string. You at least need to know that and then all the open uh, string. Let's start with the 6th string. So we've got E, A, D, G, B, E. And that's from the 6th string, which the thickest, down to the high E. E, A, D, G, B, E. If the guitar is tuned properly, the pitch that the strings make, that's an E. The sound is an E. And the reason being, you've got this nut here on the end of the guitar, the vibration between that and the bridge down here. That's the length of the string, so that's always going to be an E if it's in tune. And um, unless you come down here and adjust it lower or higher, you can adjust it lower. Here's we're dealing with the length of the string right here, and between the nut and the bridge. If we shorten the string, the pitch becomes higher. So when we're dealing with pitch, like we've got an A, listen, it gets higher in pitch. Or we could have a lower pitch. Now, the six string notes are the E string, that's an E, F, is the first fret, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, an octave higher. So go over to yourguitarguide.com and in the 11 tips to learn the notes on the fretboard over in the Guitar Essential blog, there's a free PDF with all the notes on the fretboard to help you out. Okay, so we've got the open chords G, C, D. If you don't know the open chords, over at yourguitarguide.com, first position chords. Lots of open chords. It shows you exactly where to place your fingers for each chord and check it out. Alright, so we've got a G, C, D, and those are open chords. But if we shorten the string with this capo, we're going to place it on the first fret, and basically it's changed the pitch of all the strings by half a step. Each fret, which the frets are the wires going down the guitar. From here to here is half a step. This would be a whole step. So we've got a G, a C, a D. We're still playing the same open chords, but we moved it up half a step. So this is now the nut of the guitar. The strings are shorter by half a step. So we were playing, let me just move this. We were playing the E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. So from G to G sharp is half a step. Another thing, when you place the capo on there, you want to be behind the fret itself. So, 
half a step up from G is G sharp. So even though we're playing the G form that you learned on the open chords, that's a G sharp, a C sharp, and a D sharp. Another reason you might want to use a capo is if you have a song that has a bar chord in it and you don't want to play bar chords. So like on the song What's Up, which is over at the uh, video lessons in yourguitarguide.com, that song has an A, the B minor, and a D in it. So we don't want to play the B minor for whatever reason. So what we could do is take the handy capo, which by the way, over at yourguitarguy.com, we have capos. In this case, we're going to place it on the second fret, and we're going to play a G, A minor, and C. So listen to how it sounds now, exactly the same. Not like that. see how a capo comes in handy. In effect, moving it up and down the neck, you can change the keys. So I've showed you two ways on how to use a capo. If you want to learn more ways, check out over at yourguitarguide.com. What's the use of a capo? It's a free lesson. So in short, you can move the capo up and down the neck of the guitar and change the key. So I hope you've learned something in this lesson, and um, if you haven't subscribed yet, have a look around the channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that icon right there, and subscribe for more guitar tips and tricks. And don't forget to comment, give me a like, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.